and Liv and, and we're, we're the Masha Twins. And today's video is going to be one that you guys I think has been most requesting. So as you know we've been traveling like pretty much the whole past month and we asked you guys if you'd be interested in seeing like a getting back on track kind of healthy routine video. Like life update and as well I guess. Yeah and you guys really really wanted one so that's what we're doing today. Um, Yeah we're pretty much just gonna like take you guys around what we're doing to get back on track I guess and like how we get back into routine. So we got up early this morning and we're about to go to our gym class so we're going to our PT. We're gonna do like our grocery shopping so we can show you guys yeah, what sort of stuff we stuff get. Um, we'll show you what we eat throughout the day. We'll show you we'll just talk to you guys about some things we'll update you on all our skin and stuff mm. and yeah it'll just be a fun little video. So we're gonna go work out now. Before we work out, we sometimes take this and we don't normally take pre-workout because like we are quite sensitive to caffeine, but this one, I don't know what it is, but I'm literally fine when I have this one. So it's really good. And it's a natural pre-workout and fat burning little blend. And I like to take it every morning pre workout. Say good morning. Yummy, 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 yummy. Say good morning. Good morning. Ow, 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 ow. <gasps> My earring got stuck. Wait, what song is this? Oh, yes. This is our favorite artist right now. Oh. So we just arrived to our gym. It's very loud, but as you can tell, we've arrived. We're just gonna start stretching because our PT is still with other clients for like 20 minutes, so we're just gonna stretch. So we just finished our PT session and it was really good. We don't really do much like lifting weights or like really heavy, but we really want to. And it was really good to have someone there and like yeah. push us and like Help tell us, us to lift more because he knows that we can. We're really hungry. So we're going to go home and have breakfast and we'll probably talk to you guys heaps when we get home. So guys, we just quickly stopped at the shops just to get a few things for breakfast, but we're actually going to do a grocery shop this afternoon, which will take you guys along. And we just couldn't help ourselves. This is like our newest addiction, frozen mango. Like we literally eat it straight out of the bag. We can finish a whole bag between the two of us in a day. It's so good. Mm. It's honestly the best snack though. That one's a bit hard. Alright guys, so we just got home and we're making our breakfast and our breakfast is pretty typical. Just a protein smoothie. You guys can probably guess that by now. <laughs> I'll have my protein smoothie and I'll probably also have some toast as well. Yeah. I like having like carbs and protein after a workout, yeah. especially like weights. Guys, I've also been obsessed with adding these coconut chunks in my smoothie because like when it blends, it doesn't blend completely and it makes it little like frozen coconut bits and it's so good. I'm going to show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see me or not because it's so bright, but I'm just sitting outside getting some vitamin D. It's been such nice weather lately. So I've just been like sitting in the sun and just it's so good for like the soul, you know having my breakfast I've also got some toast with Vegemite on it and a nice big smoothie. I'll show them my smoothie It's got little coconut bits. It's so good 
So guys, we're gonna go to the shops and grab a few things. I do find that like when we come back from holidays or we wanna get back on track, I find doing like a big fresh grocery shop and getting a heap of new things in the cupboard is like really, I don't know, it's like motivating to get like back into it, you know, cause you're excited about the food. And we put like barely any makeup on today too because like our skins are thriving at the moment. So good. But we thought we'd do a little outfit of the day for you guys, just... So I'm just wearing this little jumper. We got this over in LA at the markets that we went to and I've been so obsessed with it. It's just so like... cute. It's so cute and it's just perfect for like anything, um, especially like a comfy day like today. Yeah, and I'm wearing this jumper from White Fox Boutique. We got it before we went to LA. And these denim shorts I got from the markets. Yeah, and I'm just um, wearing I'm some it. Lahana activewear bike pants. They're a bit longer than the ones I wore to the gym today. But yeah, they're just like a bit more comfier. I've got my Converse's on. So let's go shopping. So the lighting's not very good, but we thought we'd show you guys a little skin update as well. Yeah, we went and got a facial a few days ago, so my skin's kind of dry and peeling a little bit, which is so normal. But yeah, our skins are kind of thriving at the moment. I don't know why, because like a week ago after Splendor, it was like the yes. worst it's ever been. And I was definitely not eating healthy, so maybe that's yeah. why. But yeah, just like my overall texture and everything is just really good at the moment. So mm. I'm really happy. We got lots of stuff. It's better. So we just got back from the shops. We're just gonna show you a few of our like go-to things. This is pretty much all of our like staples that we pretty much eat throughout the whole week. Yes. So we've got our almond milk. All unsweetened. Some fruit, some strawberries, frozen mango. You guys know we're obsessed with frozen mango. Frozen banana. Tuna, oats. I like our essential. We've got some almonds and almond butter. And we got some green veggies. We have quite a bit of green veggies in the fridge, so we didn't get too much, but there are soul food. These are a little, uh, either our late night snack. And some meat. This is like pretty much our go-to protein, so either turkey or chicken. And I'm yeah. Base. Actually got a pizza base. I've had this a few times, and it's my gluten-free pizza base, and it's got like really good ingredients. I like that if I like to change up my dinner a little bit and have something a little bit more exciting. All right guys, so I've got my lunch and I've made just some toast with avocado and tuna and pepper and chili. That's like literally my go-to lunch and it has been for a while. There's mum in the background. <laughs> That's my lunch. So good. Oh. Talia. She's sad. I've got my I'm lunch. Say hi to the people. Say hi. So it's like around four o'clock in the afternoon now, and you can tell I haven't unpacked from today. But I'm just doing some work in my room on my laptop. We got sent these glasses. Um, I think it's like before we went to LA from Key, Australia, and I've always wanted like blue light glasses, um, so I don't like strain my eyes when I'm on my laptop and my phone because it's like obviously predominantly our work on there. I'm loving using them. Yeah, I do find my eyes get really sore very easily, so hopefully these help. Um, I'm just having a chocolate protein smoothie. Um, I had one for breakfast, but like you guys know how much we love smoothies. I could literally live off them. We have like the biggest sweet tooth, so I find like smoothies just like. Like the best thing to have in the afternoon and like so satisfying and lately we've been obsessed with putting the frozen coconut chunks in them and that's just like really high in like good fats so definitely keeps me so full and satisfied so highly recommend put them in and they also add like chunky bits in the smoothies you can sort of like chew on them and they're just like really really nice so seriously try it so good shower and wash my face and everything like that so I'm gonna do my skincare now and yeah my skin is pretty much breakout free right now it's just like scars that are left I'll show you guys what I've been using months I used to get like these really like cystic lumps like I, I mean I assume they're pimples but like really cystic um, pimples around like my temples and my forehead and we could never figure out what it was coming from and they were really painful they would never come to the surface and they would just like linger for like months and like weeks 
I did notice changing my hair care, like my shampoo and conditioner, I've started using like natural Sukin products. Um, I think that's how you say it, Sukin. And it's like this shampoo and conditioner, I've been using that for like a few months, maybe a few weeks now. And I did really notice an improvement in like all of my breakouts around my hairline. But yeah, it's definitely calmed down a lot now. So I thought I'd just like mention that. But yeah, overall, my whole complexion on my face has just improved so much. So I thought I'd give you guys a little update on my skin. Now I just applied all my skincare. I've been getting facials from DMK for over six months now and pretty much I use all their skincare as well. But yeah, I actually think a lot of my acne rooted from like my gut lining and from eating all the food intolerances that I had before I knew I had them. And they basically were eating away at my gut lining and all that toxins and stuff was getting in my bloodstream and causing all my acne and stuff like that. So once the doctor healed my gut lining, my doctor gave me all these supplements to fix it. Since I fixed that, pretty much a lot of my skin has fixed itself. Yeah, I showed you guys a lot of the stuff I was taking back in our night routine video a few months ago, I think back in May. It's just like so smooth. Yay. Guys, us and mum have like gone through this entire bag of little crisps all day. I don't even know how to explain them. This is what they look like. They're like vegan, gluten free, and they're pretty much made out of like lentils and spices. And this is what they look like. The spices on them are so spicy. Like if you can't deal with spices, you will probably die from those chips. They are like so hot. But there's just something about them that just makes you want to like keep eating more. Alright, so I've had my shower and done my skincare and now I'm going to cook dinner. Ashley has already started cooking a dinner. She's having pizza. I'm just going to make um, something that I've been really liking at the moment. And it's just like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Yes, Brussels sprouts are actually really good if you put like flavor to them. Um, so I just have like green vegetables and then rice and quinoa on top with just like some pasta sauce. And some turkey and I'm probably gonna put some olives in as well for healthy fats. So for dinner tonight I decided I'm going to have that gluten free pizza base that I showed you guys earlier and yeah I think I'm gonna do half tomato base half barbecue base and I don't have the most exciting array of toppings I just have some protein so some turkey some olives some spinach some nutritional yeast <laughs> all right guys so I have my turkey and pasta sauce here and my rice and I have my green veggies here, so I'm gonna put my green veggies in. So that's how my pizza turned out. It looks so good. I think Olivia will probably help me eat it because I probably won't eat it all. And Olivia's done too. That was good. They're kind of like similar. <laughs> Different carb sauces. <laughs> Different what? Carb sauces. Well, I got sauce. Different carb sauces. Oh, right. It is so good. Mmm. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for this video. We're gonna quickly sign off, and I'm gonna start editing it so we can get up straight away for you guys. And stay tuned for our next video as well because it's very different and it's kind of it's exciting, but we're very nervous to film yeah. it. So so stay tuned. Yeah, it's definitely something we've never done before. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then let us know. And if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, let us know because we love filming it. We love keeping you in the loop with our health and fitness and all that sort of stuff. It is like two days post workout, and we are so sore. We're definitely gonna be doing more of those sessions because I don't know I think my body thrives off doing like those really heavy weights and I don't really do them much yeah. when I'm on my own so yeah the workout we did with our PT was so good we don't really do workouts like that as often as we like and he pretty much put us through a really brutal heavy weights session where he pretty much tried to make us lift as heavy as we could we're so sore yeah we're literally <sighs> struggling to walk around right now like it's it's crazy I've never been so before so our shout out for today's video goes to Lexi Crawford Thank you so much. That's such a nice comment. It's so crazy that you've been around since 15k. Yeah, we love you all so so much and we'll see you guys in our next video. So stay tuned.